The light rail project in Honolulu is facing another delay, and this time they can't even find the workers to fix it. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, and here's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending October 8th. A new at-grade railroad crossing was supposed to be operating now to help in the development of the Klyson Quality Chocolate Factory in Milton, Wisconsin. However, the project has now been pushed back nine months. Wisconsin and Southern Railroad received an extension on the grade crossing on County M Road. It marks the second time in a matter of months there has been a rail-related delay on the chocolate factory development site. In July, Milton was still waiting for state approval of a grant linked to the construction of a rail spur. Also in the plans is the construction of a new railroad track. After Senator Chuck Schumer called for an immediate inspection and repair of a CSX rail bridge crossing the Hudson River, the Class 1 company reached out to RTNS stressing that safety is their highest priority and that permanent repairs on the bridge have been accelerated and are planned to take place before 2021 comes to a close. The CSX rail bridge carries several freight trains a day and over 100,000 residents in Dutchess and Ulster counties depend on the Hudson River for drinking water. CSX also told RTNS that bridge infrastructure across its network is regularly inspected and maintained. The Dixie Fire is responsible for the destruction of over 963,000 acres in Northern California, and according to fire officials, it is now 94% contained. That's good news for BNSF, which is expecting to have a portion of its Gateway Mainline back in service by late October. The Gateway subdivision has been out of service since July 21st, while crews make the necessary repairs to a tunnel and two bridges. BNSF says Tunnel 4 should be open in the next couple of weeks as work is wrapping up on the roof and walls. The two bridges that were damaged were at mileposts 199.66 and 198.5. Officials at the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation have been unable to find any qualified welders to make repairs to its tracks. Hart recently released a request for proposals it did not receive a single bid. The agency has put out another call hoping for better results. The need for welders comes from an issue with the new track. Wheel flanges on the rail cars are about a half inch narrower than the frogs in the rail structure where the two lines cross. TTCI was hired to do an investigation, but the report is not due to be released until November. The frogs may ultimately need to be replaced. The light rail project continues to be the victim of delays. Well, that's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending October 8th. For the latest news, go to www.rtands.com. You can also find us on social media. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, everyone.